Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to download, install and set up the WebLogic server. Don't worry, it is pretty much straightforward, but still just watch so you will not waste any time and within 3 minutes you will be aware of the entire installation process. So let's start. Let's search for a download WebLogic server. Click on the first link. Let's download the latest version. Click on the generate link. Accept the agreement and click on the download button. Here it is asking for login. Actually, this is required. So let me enter my username and password. See, downloading starts. And downloaded successfully. Let's open this downloaded file. It's a zip file. So let's unzip it. See, this is a jar file. So you cannot just double click like exe or msi file. Here we have to execute this jar file from the command prompt. We have to open a command prompt, but open it as an administrator. Change the directory path. Just change the jar file name to weblogic. Now let's execute this jar file like java minus jar and weblogic.jar. And execution started. Actually, it is giving some problem because I'm using OpenJDK. And when I'm checking my Java version and it is showing OpenJDK 1.8. Okay, so let me change from OpenJDK 1.8 to Java 11. Still showing the same. So let me open again the command prompt as an administrator. See now it is showing the version which I just changed from 1.8 to 11. Let me follow the same process again. And execution started. Now you can see it is installing Fusion middleware. Here just follow the typical installation process. So click on next. Again next. If you want to change the path then replace this with the new path. Otherwise just click on next. Here I am selecting complete examples. This is not at all required. Ok click on next. Again next. Now click on install. Ok so this is done. Click on next. You can see the configuration wizard checkbox is checked. If not then please do. Because next process is depends on this checkbox. Ok so for me it was already checked. Now click on finish. So one process done. Ok now next process started. Here you have to enter the password. If you want you can change the name from weblogic to whatever you want. It's all up to you. Otherwise let it be same like weblogic. Let's enter some password. And click on create. See domain creation process started. And this is also done. Now click on next. Here you can see the configuration details. You can see a checkbox for the start domain. So please check if it is not. Otherwise you have to go to your installation directory and have to execute the start weblogic command. So let's check the checkbox and click on finish. See weblogic server is starting. See server started. Now let's open the URL. Okay so this is the URL. So this is just like a documentation. To open the console, replace index.jsp to console. See it is deploying the application. If you want you can replace IP address with localhost in the URL. Because every time when you start the server, IP will be different. So better use localhost. So the URL will be very simple. Login using weblogic as a username and password which we chose earlier. So now you can see logged in successfully. So now server is installed and started. We can do so many things. Those we'll see in some other video. I'll show you what we can do with the weblogic server. Why we have to use weblogic server. And uh, if you want to deploy your Spring Boot application instead of Tomcat to weblogic. That also we'll see. So there are multiple things. Okay so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.